It is well to dream of glorious war in a snug armchair at home, but it is a very different thing to see it firsthand. And after the death of his friend, Barry's thoughts turned from those of military glory to those of finding a way to escape the service to which he was now tied for another six years. Gentlemen may talk of the age of chivalry, but remember the plowmen, poachers, and pickpockets whom they lead. It is with these sad instruments that your great warriors and kings have been doing their murderous work in the world. A young man could hardly have fallen into worse circumstances than those in which Barry found himself. But fate did not intend he should remain long an English soldier. And an accident occurred which took him out of the service in a rather singular manner. I've got something to tell you which I don't think you're going to be very happy about. Oh? What is it? Well, first, you've got to promise me that you're going to keep your temper. <laughs> Jonathan, don't be such a silly ass. You're making a great big mystery about it. Now, what on earth is going on? Well, I'm afraid I shall have to go away again. Probably for about a fortnight. Oh, my God. You're not serious. Yes, I'm afraid I am. But there's nothing I can do about it. And where are you going to this time? I'm going to Bremen, carrying important messages and dispatches to Prince Henry. But, Jonathan, you promised me the last time it would be once and for all and never again. Yes, I know. And I promise you I kept my part of the bargain, but Pontesby insists that I'm the only one on his staff. Here was the opportunity to escape from the army for which he had been searching. It was only a few miles through the forest to the area occupied by their Prussian allies, where this officer's uniform and papers should allow him to travel without suspicion and stay ahead of the news of his desertion, which would be sure to follow. I have precious little time for it. Mr. Cross with me. Damn you. Damn you. You know I can't stay cross with you for long. It's times like this that I realize how much I care for you and how impossibly empty life would be without you. Frederick. was very glad to see the blue and white uniforms of a company of Prussian infantry, which showed him that he was out of the land occupied by his own countrymen. His intention was to make for Holland, almost the only neutral country of Europe in those times, and thence to get a passage home somehow. As he rode away, Barry felt once more that he was in his proper sphere and determined never again to fall from the rank of a gentleman. <laughs> 